Hello everybody, this is Jorge from Mexicali Fish Keeper. <laughs> I know it's been a while, um, and I apologize for that. It's really, it's really been me being, being a little bit of a slack, but uh, I'm here to do something that I normally don't do. Um, actually, it's a little bit out of character for me to do this, but I'm actually here to solicit some of your help. And um, I, I have to be very upfront, it's, the help is not for me. It's uh, for somebody that we, most of us know and those that don't will probably be happy to meet. Um, on October the 28th, uh, Aquafunk, uh, he's gonna be doing a, I guess like a fundraiser drive for uh, Fishy Biz Aquatics. Um, for those of you that don't know who Fishy Biz Aquatics, let me give you a little bit of background as to who he is and why it is that we're doing this fundraiser. Uh, Fishy Biz Aquatics, um, his real name is uh, Drew, who happens to be not only a friend of mine and of um, Aquafunk, but he's also a teacher. Uh, and not only just a teacher, he's a biology teacher who happens to be teaching at a high school at his old alma mater. So that's pretty much where he went to school, So which is kind of neat because he really understands the school and the needs of the school. Um, not to make a very long, long story, um, Mr. Clark, as his students know, uh, has for the cup, last couple of years have been doing something pretty significant for his students. On top of everything that he does for a after school activities for these kids and he's trying to get them into the hobby, which is that's not really why we're doing this fundraiser. He's taken it upon himself to try to celebrate the holidays for these students. I don't know about you guys, but I know when I was growing up, holidays were always a very kind of tricky situation. Um, I grew up with having some needs, but fortunately we always had a roof over our head and something to eat, whatever that was. But as we all know, not everybody has that same fortune. So what Mr. Mr. Clark has taken upon himself, or fishy biz, as, as we all endearly call him, he saw that need in his community. So he decided to step up. And for the last couple of years, he's been trying to gather funds to try to provide a very special meal for these kids. By trying to have them not go without um, he's been doing some fundraising and then he goes out and buys uh, turkeys and Thanksgiving and hams and Christmas but all this time he's really been doing it on his own now not that that isn't significant on his own there's a little bit of backstory here and I might never be able to do justice as to what he's been through. Um, it so coincides that on the second year of doing this for his students, he actually suffered a great loss in his family. He had a, a set of t a twins that were born right around this time of the year. And uh, unfortunately, one of the twins didn't make it. And, you know, most people would have been broken. Most people would have said to hell with everything else that's going on. But, as he puts it himself, the way that he grieves is by doing community service. So he didn't let that, as painful as that is, and as anybody who has a child can tell you how devastating that would be for them to lose one of your children, um, he decided that the way he was going to honor his daughter was by continuing to do what he had started to do. Uh, so that was his way of grieving at that moment to try to not to dwell, as he says, on that tragedy because, you know, I don't care how you, how you put it, it's always a difficult time. But, you know, he did what he felt he needed to do to be able to move past that. And that's not the only thing that's happened to him, but that's for him to talk about and not really me. What I'm geared for is 
despite all these uh, conflicts that he's been going through, he has never let his students down. He has been very, very uh, supportive of his students, very going above and beyond for his students. Um, he tries to provide um, some type of a role model figure for his students. Um, obviously, the school is, I don't know, you know, not one of the better schools. Uh, you know, it, it's in an area where there's a lot of need. Let me just put it to you like that. So you guys can know what I'm talking about. Um, but Aquafunk finally decided that enough is enough because he sees how Mr. Clark is really usually around this time of the year is just kind of drives himself to the point of exhaustion. So he decided that this year he wanted to do a little bit more and try to help out. Hence why on October 28th on Aquafunk's channel and I'll link in the description uh, his channel decided to put together a GoFundMe now the goal of this GoFundMe is to raise two thousand dollars why two thousand dollars that's because last year Mr. Clark was able to get enough money to be able to buy turkeys and ham and he ended up spending about seventeen hundred dollars so the idea of the 2000 is hopefully he can help a few more students if he gets a little bit of extra help because that's all he really was able to come up on his own and with the help of the community. Um, but this year we want to push that a little bit further because it'd be nice for a few more kids to be able to have a, a meal with their family. Not to have to worry at least for a couple of days out of the year as to what they're going to be able to eat that day. And that's really what this is about. It's got nothing to do with with helping uh, Mr. Clark as far as uh, getting stuff for his students in, in, in the classroom. It's really to provide a meal for, for his community. And we're reaching out and trying to help, you know, ask for help. Now, there's different ways that we can all help. I know the monetary is, is the one that we're really after, but there's other things that we can do that doesn't cost us a single cent. And that's where I'm asking you to help us, to share this, this video, to share his GoFundMe, and to support us, if not anything in presence, on the 28th. Uh, Aquafund is going to be doing a 24-hour drive. I believe it's going to start at 9, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And he's going to go for 24 hours. Now, here's where you can probably help um, if you can't do monetary we're looking for people that can come up and help us sustain that that 24-hour drive because it's you know it's we all have things to do there's other things that come up where we might need to step away and it's always nice to be able to have somebody just say okay I'll step in and I'll do this for an hour to continue that that 24-hour drive that's going to be done now the GoFundMe page is active now we don't have to wait till the 28th to contribute to it now our community exceeds over 2,000 members. And if we look at it like that, I'm pretty sure we could all scrape together at least a dollar. A dollar donation, although it may seem insignificant, if 2,000 of us were to contribute at least a dollar, we meet our goal and we're able to be able to help a community out to provide them some meals. It's We spend more money on fish foods, on, on products for for our aquariums and chemicals. I mean, there's a lot more money we can spend, we even on fish. You can't even buy a fish for a dollar, but you can help feed a family for a dollar. So that's the only reason why I'm here. I know I don't like doing, I don't even ask for people to hit the subscribe or the bell on my channel. That's not what I do. But I really do feel strong about what uh, Mr. Clark is doing. And I think the, the bare minimum we can do is help him out. Uh, he's not, he's, he's, and then what's really nice about this is if you go to his channel, you'll see, you'll see the evidence, you'll see where he's going out and buying these hands and, and trying to get deals uh, to be able to do this stuff. And if none of this has been donations from stores or anything, he's going out in his own time. A lot of these stores will have limits on the number of purchases, so he has to do multiple returns to be able to 
do these purchases. So it's not like he's going to one place and, and it's a one-time shot and you know he's buying all, he's going for two weeks almost every day trying to buy as much of this stuff that he can buy and as much as they'll allow him to buy. Um, Monday, he had a live stream and he was able to get some donations from that, but it's been through um, uh, the super chats and stuff like that, which those are great. But here's the thing, here's the reality. Any of us that are creating content on this platform know that when you get, when you receive a super chat or a super sticker or any of those things, there's a fee that goes along with that. So even though you're trying to help out the person and, 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 and with a contribution, problem is this platform takes a big chunk of that contribution. That's why the GoFundMe was, was created Yes, they still have administrative fees that are charged, but it's a lot less than, at least he's going to see more of those donations than he would to this current platform. Um, so that's that's really why I'm here. I know um, I normally wouldn't do this, but I feel very strong about what Doc, I mean, Doc, what uh, Mr. Clark is doing. That, you know, I don't have a problem supporting it and asking for help. Uh, again, it's not for it's not for me. It's not for Mr. Clark. It's really for the kids in this community. Uh, so if you guys can do those, you know, at least those two things, if support is on the 28th at uh, Aquafunk's channel, and I'll leave a, a link to his channel if, in case you don't have it, uh, and um, and share, please share this information. You know, because although our community is pretty pretty tight, I know there's a lot of us that watch other people. And we follow other people that we don't all necessarily follow. So the more we can get this out, the more we can get this distributed, the more of an opportunity people are going to be able to help if they really want to help. Um, so that's pretty much it. I know this is not anything to do with, uh, you know, my aquariums or my fish tanks, and I apologize for that. But I do really feel strong about this, and I think it's something, a nice gesture that we could do. Um, that extends our community. So for that, I thank you. And if you stuck around to the end, thank you very much. I appreciate everything you guys do to support me. Um, now let's just go out and support somebody, somebody else for this one time. So that's all I have to say. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys later. Hopefully on the 28th.